Hola mi gente, it's Mariluz here and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to do a kind of demonstration, first impressions of the PMD Pro. It's a personal micro uh, kit. I actually bought it after watching Nikia's video. I don't know if you follow Nikia Joy, but I will link her channel down below. That way you can check her out because she's amazing. I love her so much because she focuses on like makeup products that work mostly for oily skin since she's an oily skin type girl. She was raving about this product and saying that it changed her skin along with other products. And when she was explaining what this did to her skin and also that it was like in a special sale, I couldn't help myself and I went ahead and bought it. Um, it was at 50% off. There's different levels for the PMD kit. And and since I got the Pro, it really costs $199. So I actually pay like $100, $99, you know, $99. And I also chose Afterpay, so I'm paying it in a bi-weekly basis, which I thought wasn't too bad. So this is the device right here. I got it in the shade Taupe, which I think is really cute. It looks more like a gray, but it's a really nice color. I really enjoy this one. I didn't want anything like bright or girly. I wanted something more neutral. So Taupe, I think it's a really nice color. It is not wireless. You have to plug it all the the time while using it and the difference between this one and all the other ones is that it has two settings the pro has two settings and it has an extra set of discs so even though I've watched so many videos about this I really can't explain well what microdermabrasion is but if I'm summarizing it it's mostly like a regeneration process so you kind of like sand your skin and it helps create a new layer of skin now since I really want to demonstrate how this works and kind of give you my first impressions I don't want to go too in so if you have any other questions, I will answer them in the comment section below. But if you like, I can go over the benefits real quick. It says it reduces appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, increased hydration, diminishes appearance of spots, evens out skin tone and texture, and reduces appearance of pore size. Now, if you guys know, I've been trying to get a lot better at my skincare routine. I feel like it is imperative that you do have a nice skincare routine because it will help you with your makeup. It will help your makeup look a lot better. And I really want to get into it now that I'm growing older. So I thought this was a great idea just to start over. Although I'm very realistic, you guys, I know I'm not going to see like amazing results right off the bat. This is something that you have to use consistently. So I am planning on using this weekly for at least six months before I give you like my really true review and thoughts about this product. So let me know if you guys are interested on that. I got this last week and I just had time to do the video now, um, but I have tested this small disc. So if I can show you. This is the device right here and then it has like these discs. This is the smaller one. This is for sensitive skin. This is like the training disc if you will. They always ask you to use this one first on your arms or your legs before you even start. That way you know if you're sensitive or not. I've seen some people right off the bat going to the uh, level up on the discs and I'll show you all the discs right now. Now these are the discs right here. I haven't even opened it because I haven't tested it out. But as you can see we have gray, blue, green, and red and they go by levels and then there's one for the face and then another one for the body and if you choose to do the body one you will change the cap because the cap has like a bigger hole to accommodate that disc so yeah i'm really excited although i'm going to do this very progressively i'm going to be doing the training discs today just to see how it goes even though i haven't had any issues on my arm i kind of want to see how it works on my face before i even go a level up and i apparently have to wash the cap the disc and the filter that is inside after each use and after like three or four uses you are supposed to replace the disc so my plan so far is to use each disc starting with the training one for four weeks until they reach the last one in about eight to twelve weeks i'm supposed to see like great results so i'm gonna give it about six months to see how this goes but anyway i do want to show you how this goes so let's get right into it so sorry that the lighting is not the best um i moved the party to the bathroom that way i can see myself better in the mirror but i have plugged this thing on the wall right here and what i do like about it i'll show you is that it doesn't plug this way, it doesn't plug facing downward, but sideways, which I really appreciate because it doesn't block the outlets here. So I'm a little bit scared because this is the first time I do this, but oh my gosh, I'm gonna test it on my arm again. Okay. Now it does work, I don't know if you can tell, but it did sand my hand over here. Um, I'm actually trying to see if I can cover or clear this um, scar that I have here. So we'll see. But now I'm going to go ahead with my face. 
I don't think it hurts a lot. Like I can barely feel it on my arm. That's a little bit exciting because it means that I am gonna be able to go levels. Now, the moment of truth. Oh my goodness. That wasn't bad at all. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. I actually felt it a little bit on my skin. It didn't hurt at all, but you could tell like something was happening. Now one of the biggest and most important warnings that they give you is that you, you can't hover any spots on your skin and it's important that you don't go over the same spot twice. So like if I do here, um, they don't want you to go over again with it. Now I thought it was gonna be a little hard to drag it onto my skin because this is suctioning and it's like picking up your skin. But I can't say it really wasn't that bad. I did like that suction that created and it's important that you keep it like straight onto your face because if you go a little sideways, of course it's not gonna create that suction. So you have to like always keep it against your skin so it sucks and then you can pull it out. So now I'm gonna do the other side and then I'm gonna do the forehead, maybe the nose, so Let's do this. So I'm a little red now on this area. I, this lighting is so bad. I'm sorry that you can't tell very well, but maybe you can see the difference because this looks a little red here and then a little bit more white on this area. I don't know. I definitely need to use this at least four times because I feel like if I go a level up, it may be a little more dangerous. <laughs> so maybe I want to let my skin get used to this level. Let's continue. Now the nose is really hard to do because it's all like bones. So there's not much skin to suck onto, but at least I did this area. Kind of don't want to pass it again. I don't know, but I'm going to do my mustache now. Okay, so I definitely struggled more with my forehead because it's all bones. <laughs> so maybe on my nose and my forehead, I will need more practice on how to like glide it. 
um, because the suction does get interrupted. But now I want to do my neck because I do have a lot of like acne scars on this area. You're always supposed to let your skin taut um, and always going on upward motions. So I'm gonna do my neck but I may do it like instead of downward, upward. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's it you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little concerned about the suction because at the end when you pull it out, like your skin stays stuck and you have to like pull. So you really have to be careful. I don't wanna like create a hickey or anything like that. <laughs> but now after you do the microdermabrasion, they tell you to follow up with the toner and then your favorite moisturizer or skincare. In this case, I'm gonna use micellar water because I don't have a toner here at home. And because my skin has been dry due to acne products, um, I'm going to use my vitamin C serum. That way um, it gets hydrated. And vitamin C serum also helps restore your skin from free radicals. It helps you with like, you know, wrinkles, fine lines, dark spots. So I feel like I want to pair it with my vitamin C every time I do the microdermabrasion. Um, I actually am out of my moisturizer, which I'm really upset <laughs> because I can't find it. My favorite moisturizer is from Origins. It's the, the gel moisturizer. They rebranded it, I think it was, and now it's called like an oil-free gel moisturizer. I'm going to test it out to see if it's about the same, but I have to buy it first. So anyways, you're supposed to take off the disc right here, and you're supposed to take off the filter right here. So you can clean them after each use. It is very important because all your dead skin cells are in there. Um, so it's sort of like hygiene. So that's what I'm going to do now. Before I forget, you know. I am very sorry about the lighting. I wish I could have better lighting in my bathroom, but I don't. Okay, so I washed it. Now I'm going to like make it dry. I'm not going to put it back on the device yet because um, I feel iffy about putting it back in since it's wet. I'm just gonna let it air dry like I'll put the cap like on top of the counter and then just put it like this so it air dries I think that would be the best solution and so I'm gonna leave it like that the disc I think I'm able to just put it back on the device I don't think it'll be any problem just to keep it safe because I don't want it to get lost and so let me get my micellar water and then let me put my vitamin C serum I barely have anything on this bottle I'm a disgrace I do have a new bottle I just don't want to open it um, but I think this will be enough. My face feels really soft though, so that's really nice. I'm really excited to see like how my face will look like after a few uses or after consistent use. I did think it was going to get a lot redder than this, but it's not too red. I think I'm not that sensitive. Okay, you can totally tell I had some dead skin there because the cotton thing was a little dirty. Let that dry. Now I'm going to use my vitamin C serum from Mario Badescu. I love this thing. I swear by this. Now, don't judge me, girl. I use a lot of this, so you're supposed to use like three or four drops, but I really go to town with the vitamin C serum. It just feels so nice when I apply it, and my skin really absorbs it. I thought I was going to sting a little bit because sometimes when my skin is dry or when I have like active acne, this stings a little bit. Um, but it didn't sting at all. But yeah, I really wish I had some moisturizer, but I'm just gonna keep it like that. So as first impressions, I can say it is not that bad. I thought it was gonna be like tougher than this, um, especially because I knew I was gonna sand my face and I knew that section it probably was gonna be hard to glide on your skin, but it was not at all. At first I thought I was not gonna like it, but I really enjoyed it. It doesn't take long at all. So I can see myself doing this on a consistent weekly basis. 
and yeah i am just so excited to see the results like maybe in six months a year let me know in the comment section below if you have any other questions that i can answer let me know if you tried a device like this or even done microdermabrasion on a salon because i know you can pay for that i've never had a microdermabrasion experience so i can't compare it at all now if you want to see more from this channel i'm gonna leave you two videos right here so you can check them out and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe i post every friday at 8 a.m eastern time it's mostly makeup reviews and makeup tutorials or you can also hit the bell notification bell that way you can get notified every time i post thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next one bye